Hey everybody, welcome back to Nomad Sky. Uh, we are here, just as you can see outside of the uh, National Isolated Radio Array, where we gave um, a slightly crazy lady her um, rose, that is, her um, kind of radio station. Now we do have to go back and see her about that, but before we do, we have another quest to do around here, which is the... Uh, that one and the voice of set thought I'd lost it for a second there what? what did we do it already? did we pick it up? I don't remember doing that did I do that? <laughs> uh, and the voice of set hang on let me have a look here game have you balked me? Completing the missions earned by Kryptos. Must be around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Sorry. There. It's it's, it's my fault. Right, yes, it's there. Sugar Grove. So we're going to go and, I guess, follow this road down and around. Now, we are a little bit over Yukonubid, um right now. I love the look of that, by the way. That is immense. It's a lovely day as well, actually, now. What have we got here? We've got the... Um, is it the hunt? No. Let's choose the hunting rifle, just in case. We need to do a bit of long range sniper rune. Sniper rooney. Uh, guess we'll have a look on board this school bus. You got any dog? Is that dog food? Pork and beans. Uh, ooh, no. Shotgun shells. Someone had a little uh, kind of stash going there, didn't they? I don't think we can fit through that door there. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing very well. I'm doing good. Um, it's so weird that literally, like, from playing this, and um, I think we're a little over two weeks from launch, maybe, um, and I am just, like, uh, really... Like, this is the game I look forward to playing the most, and I still have Red Dead to finish, and that's weird, and I find that weird to say. But um, that is the truth. Yep. It's odd. I just re this is something I really enjoy about just kind of wandering around this world and experiencing everything it's got. I guess it's nice. So we're going to follow this road around to there. Can I eat slash drop anything? Furious combat knife. It is absolutely furious. Uh, that something I didn't realise actually that I just realised is stim packs actually weigh quite a lot. Now I have something which reduces their weight, but they do weigh a lot. That was enough. Pooped out a little uh, brown bag. Uh, what's this then? Let me guess, more super mutants? No, scorched, okay. Let's try and uh, do this in a vaguely stealthy way. I really regret taking the suppressors off these uh, weapons. It would be very useful. It's something I will do. Uh, we'll put back on them, definitely. There's definitely one there, isn't there? He hasn't even kind of like woken up yet, shall we say. Let's see if there's any bit closer. Ah, there's one. Okay. We will definitely have a look here, I guess. National Radio Astronomy Research Centre. There's a limo, like, hastily driven in here. I wonder if that was a pre-war thing or a post-war thing. That's pretty cool. I would not mind driving that car around the wasteland. Okay, we've got a caution, which means there is definitely... Oh, hi. Yeah, I see it. Screws. 
from what everyone says, screws are like the most valuable commodity within the game. Uh, oh, duct tape. <laughs> I get so excited when I see duct tape. It's just a continuation of like Fallout 4. Uh, okay, we can't get up that way. Let's have a little look around here first. We're over encumbered because I picked up that duct tape. He's already dead. Now, I didn't kill him or her. I think it's her. Ah, oh, that's a Mistress of Mysteries woman. Interesting. I wonder why they were here. I wonder if that's going to lead to a different quest sometime. Oh, we can actually go through the back way. That, just, that seems like a good plan. Sneaking through the back door. Let's see what that's going to uh, bring us. Okay, definitely as heavily suspected a lot of scorched okay yeah we really needed to be I hate the way it takes you out of sneak when you uh Just come up to my window. Come up to the kill window. Didn't expect me through the back entrance, did you guys? No, you didn't. Got a lot of money here. And a chest. A chest is safe. I'm playing Skyrim there, aren't I? Ah, oh, Miss Skyrim. I don't want dirty water to be honest. I don't need steel now either. I think the terminal unlocks the door. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Hello, Scotchy, Scotchy. Hey, Scotchy, Scotchy. I think I might. Need something a little bit more. Ah, I see her. Okay. I don't know if that coffee pot is aluminum or not. I don't know what that is either. I've got to kind of focus on taking certain things in my junk and kind of building them up. Like desk fans, I know are good for screws and stuff. I know it's going to have us over encumbered, but I'm hoping there's some sort of uh, um, ooh, I'm hoping there's some sort of chest around here. Awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. Might switch to shotgun. To be fair, I didn't want that. It's a sledgehammer that we can use, but um, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm at a stage yet where I need to specialise. Kind of be like, yeah, I'm going to use melee, or yeah, I'm going to use, um, you know, guns, or I'm going to just have one gun and, you know, one melee or something like that. It's the kitchen. Yeah, boiled water. I don't really want boiled water, to be completely honest with you. Does the coffee pot hold um, aluminium? It's plastic, steel, and asbestos. Okay. Black titanium scrap. So what was it I was reading about? It's the uh, the way to get black titanium is through mole miners. Apparently, their um, their suits have black titanium in them. So when you kill them, take their suit scrap. And it has a uh, black titanium in it. So that's good to know, I guess. Okay, these, none of these terminals have anything in them. Desk fans are good because they have screws, and screws are very, very valuable. Emergency order A19. 
To all remaining staff, you hereby require to enact emergency order A19, destroy all non-communication terminals, run procedure T79AC on communication to destroy our prefect, go and maintain silence. Well, 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 what was going on here? So they purposely trashed this place to avoid whatever secrets it had get it into someone else's hands. if we'll always need I don't know if that combination wrench I think it might have screws let me have a look lead see lead's also important for uh, breaking down uh, weapons and things like that so cork scrap I don't remember ever getting cork that's where we came in okay so how do we get upstairs there it's definitely still some scorch running around Writer. But we are hidden at least. Radix, another broken terminal. I'm actually going to go for the hunting rifle, I think. It's not quite as narrow as I. Probably didn't need that telephone, to be fair. Hello. Oh, Jesus. Is there one of them up there? I can hear them like, wandering around, but I have no idea where they are. Okay, yeah, we already read that. Data review terminal. Messages. Satellite adjustments. Make some remote adjustments to satellite shortly. We will account for a gap in the data when it gets to you. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Don't worry, last time wars got everyone on edge, but to my knowledge, there are only foreign armed forces in low orbit in space tampering with our equipment. Uh, Lucius wants the next batch of logs reviewed by the Monday morning meeting. Sorry to ruin your weekend, um, but we've got to move fast on this. As you know, we have a limited window to gather the information, so it's important to finish drawing the data before the next test. Incoming data dump. Heads up, big test schedule for early this afternoon. The team at the National Isolated Radio Array have finished their calibrations and they're on standby. According to Lucius, this might be one for our cleanest signal yet, so be prepared for a buttload of data coming your way. Something's weird. It's weird, right? I know we were told not to talk about it, but I can't be the only one, right? They can't expect to keep it secret forever. I haven't been sleeping since. I'm pretty sure Michael's noticed my performance slipping. I feel like everyone's been acting a little weird out recently, even the higher-ups. Maybe I shouldn't worry. Maybe it's nothing. You've been re reviewing the data, though. What do you think? Any employee communicating with anyone below their clearance level about any classified which will be immediately terminated and prosecuted to the full extent of federal law. That's federal spelling correctly. If you are not sure if your communication follows the mandate, be safe and say nothing at all. Thank you for your cooperation making this facility. Mm, okay. Sure, it's nothing. We go seven years without a single retirement, and suddenly half a dozen people retire in the space of two weeks. They're all relatively young. They've all moved to remote places to be with family. Yeah, they're not retired, buddy. I mean, it's possible. It's certainly, yeah. Okay, something's going on here, isn't it? Radio logs, system offline. Satellite data system offline. So, what is this? Uh, what are they hiding here? What went on? You know, why did they feel the need to retire people? Uh, interesting. In the world of like Fallout, everyone is dodgy. Like, everyone is dodgy. This, this one. Oh, it says, something's up. Yes, good. Let's break this lock first. God damn it. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness, this one's a difficult one. A little bit more. Even my hundreds of hours in Fallout. <laughs> now it's a slightly tricky one. Oh, I mean, that's probably all I want to take right now. Uh, right, where were we? That holotape, something's up. That was not a combat knife in his hand. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. Sure, let's take a camera. We need a workbench game. Really need a workbench. Okay, so uh, that terminal's scrubbed. But this one over here requires key. Okay. Where might mightn't to Kiwi. Interesting. We'll keep looking. There's got to be a key here somewhere. I do want to know what was going on here, though. Very intrigued. That's a ghoul. Interesting. down here I haven't been here or have I no I definitely haven't been here a bit lost now damn it nearly uh, level 28 there as well bit more. God damn it. There we go. Fusion cell. Automatic laser pistol. Interesting. This is all steel. I need to get rid of the steel marker when we get to a workbench next. Because it's not uh, really that relevant anymore. I've got quite a lot of steel. So where does this go down to? Been around here? I feel like we've been around here, but I don't know. I don't think we've been around here. <laughs> kind of confused where the hell I am in this place. Magnifying glass? That would be steel, I think. Okay, this is the entrance. Gotcha. Okay. I haven't found this key, but there is another level, I think, uh, going up, so we'll have a look. Not in there. Ah. Oh my goodness, how did I miss this? How did I miss this? Can I, um, 
rebind my light key because I don't seem to be able to turn it on. Pip Boy's tab, but it doesn't seem to be working. I might. I can't redo the thing, but I could. What if I did it? Pip Boy to G. That's emotes. H is quick heal. Oh, H is quick heal. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Don't need a light. Real, real men don't use lights. Hashtag real men don't use lights. Let's go up, have a little look. Yes, god damn yes. Oh, this goes to the... Oh, this goes to the roof. Could be something on the roof though. We'll have a look. this that's interesting other than that though it doesn't really seem to be that much here there's definitely a story going on here but I don't know I don't know where that key is That is linked up there via power. It's all linked up here. Hmm. Interesting. Still don't know what the hell is going on here. It's difficult to tell sometimes if something's for like a quest, you know, later on, or if uh, you know it's a quest for now. That makes sense. I missed that roll of uh, military grade duct tape there. Got quite a lot of duct tape, not gonna lie. Uh, let's have one quick swizzle around. See if I missed a key anywhere. I missed a key. <laughs> okay. Something's up. Yeah, we've already played that. So, okay, we've got the key. So I think we can go and have a look at that terminal now. I think all the Scorched is still dead, so we're fine. Uh, not that terminal. It was the one further on? No. Shit, where am I now? Was it the one up? I think it was the one up, sorry. It's in there. My bad. Password required. I just found a key though. <laughs> Damn it. Password required. What's that the key to that we got? Also, why is there not one workbench in this entire facility? Can't help but feel that was a massive oversight. I mean, the thing is, if I was a password, I'd be in someone's like high up office, right? But you'd probably be on like a terminal, and the only terminals we found don't really have. They didn't have any passwords on them. Heard a scorch there. Hmm. I think we're going to move on just for the sake of time, but uh, 
this probably will be a place I come back to once I learn a little bit more about it. Yeah, I guess it's about which terminals work and which ones don't. For that password. But we know there's something going on. Um, we kind of heard that before from the previous ones where it was talking about like um, that kind of EMP field and like being able to produce it. I think it was probably like a, some sort of maybe nuke defense system or something they were working on. Um, but I don't know. Interesting anyway, for sure. Maybe we'll find out more Sugar Grove to be fair. Sugar Grove uh, sounds like the type of place that um, has that sort of like uh, cutesy name that actually is uh, somewhere that um, the government actually does like, you know, high level research. They just give it a kind of a cutesy name so it doesn't sound threatening in any way, but actually it is. We're going to be very over encumbered, unfortunately. Let's have a look and see if the. Uh, oh, there we go. Wait. I'm going to guess that typewriters. They've got screws though. Springs, gears. Yeah, we need them. Gear springs, screws. Yeah. Uh, it's got a screw. Screw. Plastic screw. Yeah. We'll keep this stuff. Really hope that um, stash space increase comes soon. Although I have got 811 rounds for this weapon and I really don't think I need that many. So. Where the hell did they come from and where were they going? Is that a combat rifle? There's ghouls, no super mutants there. Okay, well we'll let them fight amongst each other. I got bored waiting. Leveled up. satisfying that thud you get when you hit okay let me stop there we go We level up. We're in danger, so maybe not. By the way, when you actually hit Q for VATS, you know the way you used to kind of spam it in Fallout 4 see if there's an enemy around? Well, it actually uses your action points in this, which is actually pretty good, I think. It makes it a little bit fairer. Okay. Short assault rifle. What level is that? Thirty. Five five six ammo is never like I I'll, I'll need I don't get any of that at the minute. So we'd have to uh Oh bless. So recipe for my case aluminium cans, good.
a great shot he is. <laughs> Luckily for us. Okay, so it looked like there was an accident here. The police just kind of closed off the road. Toasters. Do they actually have any sort of uh, springs? Okay, yep, I'll keep them. I really need to find a workbench though. I could set up my camp, I guess, but I also can't be bothered. That's a big old. Oh, it's a. Okay, there's definitely something going on over here. Okay. This is Sugar Grove. How do we get in there? Sounds like it's got automated defenses and something's attacking those automated defenses. Maybe Scourged or Super Mutant, something like that. So yeah. Let's just have a look at this little dilapidated truck over here. Someone had a couple of trail bikes, I guess. Green rag hat, don't need. Sure, I'll take some fuses. Don't really want any beer or beer bottles. I've got loads. Okay, let's head up here to Sugar Grove. Oh, there's like an actual way round here, so actually let's maybe follow this round. That guy's got a jet ski. Gotta get your priorities right, you know. I'm assuming he was... Uh, I guess maybe the, the bombs could have hit and he didn't realise, but I probably wouldn't be... The first thing in my mind wouldn't be to get out with my jet ski. We got a lot of junk. Let's level up now while we can. Uh, right, what do we want to put it in? Strength. Ballistic weapon weighs 45% less. That would be useful. Pack crap we have got up to level 3. That we can get a double on. I think we might go for that. And then double up, yeah. 90% less. That's pretty good. So this now weighs like nothing, basically. 45 rounds weigh nothing. That's really good. Now, obviously, the energy stuff we have. We have a lot of fusion cells. Didn't realize I had that many. Uh, weighs a lot. So that, that doesn't even weigh one. So that's good. So it means we can keep a lot of ammo for our guns and not really have to worry about the weight situation. And we also should have gone up slightly in our carry weight, but we didn't apparently. It's interesting. Okay, what are we going to come up against here? I keep wanting to press F5 to save. It's such a um, uh, like a natural reflex. It's weird, really weird. This is Sugar Grove. Communications. So maybe this wasn't a government place. Maybe this was. Maybe like a private company who would, I don't know, maybe they hired out to, contracted out to government or something like that. 
I don't know, we'll have a look. We will have a good look. Haven't come across anything yet. Robots. None of these terminals, I think, can be looked at. What busted the robots, guys? Okay. That one's busted. looks very you know innocent so far apart from the kind of slightly weird robots terminal okay the terminal to lock that but it was unlocked for us music just changed to something a bit more sinister And there's a guy up here, that might be why. Let's give him a wave. Hello. That might be what killed the robots. <laughs> Is there a terminal around here? Okay, uh, so he's taking out robots. I'm cool with that. I gave him a bit of a wave, so you know, he knows we're friendly. Safe here. There's no wave into that money, actually, to be fair. I don't need it. I need is a workbench. So it's like he's having a great time. is it? Nah, it's him. <laughs> I'd probably just say I hope we can still be friends when this is over, I think. Definitely something shooting me. Or the other side of that wall shooting me. Short assault rifle, sure, let's take it, we can break it down. I mean at this rate I'm so over encumbered, I might as well just take everything and then work it out from there. I turn the turrets off, bro. Shit. Found what was shooting me. Aha. Uh -huh. Automated core recording. Weird, won't play. Maybe you have to put it in a terminal. I should grow intramail. Siphon holotapes. 
Project Cyber Holotapes are a strictly controlled resource. Under no circumstances are they to be issued to anyone ever without my direct approval. The addition behind the is just one of these tapes is twice the only budget of our entire division. If you check one out, the system will lock it. You'll be answering to me. Uh, we've had several reports of disk write errors this morning. It looks like we abruptly ran out of storage on our primary mainframe overnight. Until we can get it sorted out, I've brought a secondary tape drive online. Please reboot your terminal so everything should be working again. Project Siphon. Hey Pat, I need your favour. I'm sure you've heard the story by now. But a little mishap in my lab last week. And I've wound up with too much data for the mainframe to process. I was wondering if I could borrow one of my old Siphon tapes just for the weekend. The general is expecting a report on Monday. Unless I can pull my data together, I'll never be able to analyse it in time. It really means a lot to me. Please, Pat, I'm begging you. My job's on the line here. McCann isn't going to take any more excuses. Not once he sees the bills so I've run up. I have to have something to show him. Isn't there anything you can do? It's just for the weekend. I'll have it back to you by Monday, I promise. Tuesday at latest. What's Project Siphon? Project Siphon overview. Developed by Sugar Grove Advanced Research Project Division, the Project Siphon data exfiliation holotape can scan a target network for data resources of interest, copy and compress that data with an average compression rate of 201 and extract it for data analysis. Due to cost, a very li limited number of Project Siphon holotapes have been produced. Access is strictly limited to covert operations, especially to grade 5 or above with prior authorization. All access to the system must be locked. There's the Mitchell me at missing action cipher number one presume lost. Okay. Check out to unknown. Oh we had a project siphon log. Don't know why I needed one of those, but I got it. I don't know why I needed one, but I got it. I get the feeling that law abiding citizens will be harmed. Okay, we can go up there. Go around here. There's a terminal up here. I don't think that turret will attack me, right? I deactivated them, yeah. Oh, hello. Project Director's Terminal. Uh, Should Grave Intramel, is this the one we've seen? No. Mining Chatter, first I want to apologise for misunderstanding when you said there was an issue with the miners at Rusty Pick. I thought you were referring to underage drinking on a related note. There actually is a problem with underage drinking at Rusty Pick, but I know that's not what you mean. Calls we took seem to indicate petty pretty standard anti-automation stuff. A few calls for unionization, nothing to worry about. Seems mostly harmless are oh, these guys were spying on people but I think we should keep an ear to the ground just in case with your approval I'd like to get a guy in there and put undercover up thoughts I'm a dodge here I finally suppose ever since I sent you that report about the strange overseas wire transfers we trace coming out there I sent word of it to one of the boys in DC and you'll never guess what came back after bouncing around a few shell companies all the all around the world the money finally landed in China Consider this my former request for a full surveillance op at the moment. Dolce's facility and interest in national insurance here. I bet dollars to donuts. We turn up a den of Chinese spies. Mama Dolce is of Chinese spies. Surveillance equipment. Do we already have some equipment out by Monaga? I was out there setting up surveillance for the mission. You signed me. I came back across a device that looked especially like one of ours. We didn't have something going on there. I forgot about it, did we? The thing looked like it was freshly installed. I didn't end up installing anything because I wanted to clarify the situation with you first. Interesting. Grafton Communists. Strikes continue in Grafton. Don't these people understand how important steel production is to the war effort? I'd like permission to monitor the situation more closely. It wouldn't surprise me to find a communist too in the midst of this mess. It's in the Navy's best interest to fix the situation ASAP. We don't even have enough intel to know if whoever's organised strikes the same as the one who sabotaged all the mill with whatever was in that powder. You authorise the tools I need, I guarantee I'll get to the bottom of this. With all due respect, does mean you're shutting down the hunters fill up? Are we taking orders from the army now? A complete media blackout, I get, but covert surveillance is literally what we do. What's going on in there is so secret that we don't have eyes and ears on it. Huntersville, eh? 
free states. Here's the latest on the free states after the secession. We were picking up loads of activity. Been pretty quiet ever since the real interesting ones like Blackwell and Clay locked themselves up in their bankers last month. For what it's worth, we managed to infiltrate a few of their lines of communications, but again, they mostly seem to be staying put and waiting for the bomb to drop, as if the enemy actually has the guts to pull a move like that on American soil. Uh, I'll update you if you have anything noteworthy happens. As far as I'm concerned, they can sit there and stew as long as they want. At least if we can free up the resources to deal with them good and proper. We've had several reports of disrupt areas this morning. It's up. We abruptly ran out of storage on our primary mainframe overnight until we can get sorted. I've bought a secondary tape drive online. Pretty sure the town or something should be working again. Yeah, we know about that one. Project Somnus. Error. Project Somnus, eh? Okay. There's definitely something going on in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the last place. There's a definite something going on in here. Very co covert, very um, under the radar. Whoa, took him out. Flipping robo brain there. Oh god, here we go. Uh, what have we got in terms of grenades? There we go. You're not lethal in any way, you're just dropping smoke clouds. We can be friends if you just die. Oh, that hurt you. Let's go for the kill. Is that a Oh my god, I thought that was a gorse gun for a minute there. Okay. Nice. Also, absolutely disgusting. Oh my god, look at all these blank collar tapes. Oh shit. <laughs> Is there not even a weapons workbench here? Let's use this one. Uh, Intramail Project Pulsar uh, Resources Thomas McGill General Thomas McGill So they were working with the army without a doubt Oh he's cyber Oh well, here we go Locust Vertibot Bugging Network Project Locus is a developed a self-directed vertibot swarm capable of covertly accessing enemy installations, hacking into mainframe systems, and extracting data of interest. E engineering estimates indicate the vertibots equipped with Project Locus technology could be approximately the size of a consumer sedan, making vertibot swarm such infeasible. <laughs> yeah, I think they'd notice that, wouldn't they? Project Siphon. Uh, capable of scanning hostile networks, detecting data sources of interest, compressing the data, extracting for later analysis. Separate siphon achieved a successful data compression ratio of 201. Iridium infused magnetic tape, 15 million per holotape. Multiple personal use issues resulting in two lost tapes. Okay. Codename Barrier. Status cancel. Project Barrier is developed an electromagnetic suppression field capable of dampening gamma radiation, providing a counter to radiation weapons and enabling agents to operate in the aftermath of a tactical nuclear strike. Okay, what the hell's going on? What's this dude?
I got him. That's an interesting weapon you've got there. Level 79. Level 79. Jesus Christ. I don't even know how long you would be playing the game for. Okay, that actually reduced our jump by quite a lot. Oh shit, we're under encumbered. What do you know? Oh, now they stole my bloody terminal place. Okay, use Project Siphon to extract the data. have a little wander around to some of these other terminals I think while we're here. Charging laser sniper rifle. Let's break that down I guess. Okay. I want that. Whatever this thing is I want it. <laughs> it looks like a fun weapon. I think he's saying come with him for something. Another Colonel Gutsy. He's saying, come down here. Oh, good to say. Graft him up Wendigo. Oh, play them. What do you look at that? That's armor though. That's X01, isn't it? The plan, gamma gun. Oh, cool. Don't want any blamco. Can't do that while in power armor. What? God damn it. Charleston Herald, the mother load. Sci Signi oh, I don't want to get my power armor right now. Fine. Run or become diagnostic check. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and what's on that map? Is that all their listening posts? Because that's pretty mental. thumbs up. Uh, oh, what the hell is this? That's oh, a bug. <laughs> it's a bug. Bethesda games have bugs in them, guys. <laughs> Who'd have thunked it? Who'd have thunked it? Ah, there's an office fan around here. Get out of it. Thank you, Chup. Purified water, yes, please. Okay. Military fatigues. Nothing in there. Well, I want to go back up and have a look at this uh, terminal. Sli oh, it's a mop. I thought it was a sledgehammer. <laughs> Well, there's one on the other side actually, which I've looked there. Maybe the other guy will be finished with the terminal by then. We'll have a little look, see. We'll listen to those uh, tapes as well. I 
I can hear is just a little power armor bouncing around. We're over encumbered again. Oh, we are literally over encumbered. Hello, crafting stations. Oh, that person's still at the fucking thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll break that down. Why not? Okay. Appear to be right on the limit. But over. Ah, the guy's done. Good. Right. Research projects. Can we load Project Siphon? Project Siphon Holotech. Yes, we did it. Glad I had a look around to begin with. Explicit affiliation complete. Awesome. Uh, I just want to have a look at some of these other ones. So that was Barrier Spotlight. Project sort of lies develop a neutrino pulse emitter capable of remotely scanning enemies. Installations reconstructing internal map of the facility. A field test of the spotlight emitter was conducted on a civilian office building 622. Subsequent news reports suggest that most of the resulting casualties were caused by a sudden mass psychotic episode resulting from the scan instead of the scan itself. Although the spotlight technology has potential military its usefulness as a cobalt project appears to be limited. What did it do? A neutrino pulse emitter. So it turned them all mental basically. Huh. And pulsar. Developed tactical electromagnetic pulse for use in agents to stable in destroying turrets, robots, and other electromagnetics. Four frequent tests, that's all we've accomplished today. Four tests, having the robot fabricated in the lab helps, but our test cycle still takes far too long. After every test fire, we have to break down the robot, analyze the damage, reset and recalibrate the weapon, and wait for the fabricator to assemble a new robot. At this rate we're going, we might have some results in the next century or two. Got it. Found a way to automate the testing process and set the fabrication pod to assemble a robot, pipe the fabricator's steam release into a hydraulic actuator, trigger the weapon, and have the fabricator send to the and save the results. Rinse, repeat. The whole cycle takes about eight minutes. I can set this baby to run up while I'm on vacation next week and come back to a fresh set of data analyzed. I wanted data? Well, I got data somewhere in there. I'm sure there's a useful result, but it's buried in 58 tape drives. It's streaming hot crap. 58 drives, that's cute little automated test regimes, even all the data storage on the base, enough power to run with a toga for a year. I'm so screwed. Uh, nothing, I've got nothing. Test data is fragmented across the main drive. Give me one of the cipher tapes. If I could get all the data in one place, maybe you come up with something. Okay. 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 Cool. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, we did that. Glad that again we had that uh, to do. So we should have our thing. I wanted to find the cryptid sighting. is this have I missed the <laughs> man I need to get rid of some of these uh, I think it was a bit yeah there we go Grafton
Well, the classic four foot wide shoulders, headless profile, deep sonorous cry, they got a good glance at it. The witness didn't know what it was, but the description is very clear. It came out when she started playing mouth harp, apparently. I'm gonna go out to look. Maybe that sound is she. Okay. Mouth harp. Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 102577. Wendigo witness report. Ooh, this is a spooky tale. Okay, so this is my own personal sighting. I was up at the ski lodge this past week, enjoying some well-deserved R&R. &R. I guess I can never really be off the clock, though, because I happened to see something hunched on the slope in the hill. I thought it was some old coat, you know? I was moving pretty fast, so I was just trying to avoid it. Anyhow, it just unfurled. Have been ten feet tall, but just all skin and bone, like a dead dog. It had a deer's skull cracked open in its hand, a fresh kill, you see. And as I go by, I get this powerful cold feeling through my bones. I thought to myself, Bev, you really lucked out getting that tattoo before coming out here on this trip. I can't imagine what kind of things I'm gonna see next. Okay. Tell all the cryptid ones, the curse of the Wendigo. I think I've listened to that already. That one was the other one. Cryptozoids. Oh, blimey. <laughs> I thought he had a gun, so they just shot him. Or probably more likely they didn't even think he had a detective case file. That isn't an actual thing we can read, is it? Let's have a look. Is it just... Yeah, it's just junk. Okay, fine. Interesting. We found some very interesting things going on here. So there were sightings of like the Wendigo, the Grafton monster, and things like that before the war. So the question I'm asking myself is, did they become a thing before the war, or were they after the war? Like, is it you know because of radiation and stuff? Interesting. Or maybe there's uh, maybe you know it's a case of like the radiation created something and then people named were like oh that seems like it could be like the, the grafter monster so we'll call it the grafter monster type thing you know what i mean i don't think i saw this actually to the roof it's a little look see whoa this vertibird crashed on the roof Can break down some of the stuff over here. Useful. Uh, still puts us overweight. <laughs> of course it does. Okay, we'll have a look. If we need to drop a little bit of something, we can drop some like steel or something, I'm sure. Doesn't have to be a minigun there, does it? No. 
No, that does not. That's a verty bird. Anything here? Okay. Well, that, that is the sugar grove, I guess. Oh, so way out there. Might use that. Just thought I'd look at this little tower here. Yeah, there's not much else there. Hmm. Very interesting. But we will finish up there, I think. Next time we'll head back to. Uh, thingy. We'll try and find Site Alpha on the way. Um, kind of head back. Are there a flipping mole rat around? somewhere yes there is anyway we'll finish up there guys thanks for watching see you soon bye bye